Hello, Bitter Council. We would like to congratulate you on your article today in the Berry Times, the paper that cannot look after its residents because it's full of your propaganda. Well done. Didn't uh, work out the way you wanted it though, did it? So, I've been being quiet back a couple of days a little bit anyway. But, I'm taking you on a drive now. And let's have a look at these lovely, lovely roads. You've done nice round here on Huntley Mount Road, but you did that not, what, six months ago? Alright, but let's go and take a drive. Eh? We're going to take a drive, eh? And let's see what, what we're up against, eh? See what you're up against. And I hope Mr. Boris Johnson is sent my email. And I hope he tells the Secretary of State to dissolve this council. Because I'm sure when they do a financial audit on what you're spending money on and doing things, he's asked them what he's going to do. So, here we are. Heading up into Dickie Bird. Eh? Going to stare at these roads, eh? I bet these private estates aren't like this, are they? Eh? So here we go, we went on to King Fisher Drive, eh? Yeah? This is not too bad here. But look at this. I say this is a skid risk here, won't you? Eh? Yeah? Look at the state of it. And this is what council tax is paid for, this is what vehicle excise duty is paid for, eh? To maintain these roads, eh? I don't think they're being maintained at all, do you? So, let's keep going round, eh? Look at it, it's a skid rick, eh? it's dangerous. It's throwing people's cars. Windscreen getting swiped with stones in them, eh? Let's get back onto Kingfisher, eh? Yeah? Yeah? Clover Drive. Somebody asked me to come up here and have a look at this, so let's do it, eh? Let's do this, eh? Because I told you, we're not going nowhere. Look at it. Look at these big massive potholes here. That's got to be at least 50 centimetres deep. Eh? When was the last time you maintained this road, Mr. Council? Eh? When was the last time you maintained it? When did you, did you come and look at it? Big, big, big potholes. Everywhere. So that's a quick drive around Plover, eh? Look at the state. You know? Look at this fencing. Falling to bits. What are you going to do about it? Eh? It's a disgrace, isn't it? You put these fences up, what? 30 years ago? I can remember you putting them up because I live down here. Yeah? No maintenance at all. We're all falling apart. Eh? It's your responsibility. Okay, what did town houses say? Your responsibility. You're the landlord. There's another skid rick on Ren Drive. We don't even need to go down there, you can just see it. The road's a mess. Yeah? Yeah? This is it. This is leading round the Norway Bridge and that. Look at the state. It's 
So let's go around here. Eh? Because I bet the private get as private estates aren't like this, are they? Okay, look at the overgrowth here. Look at all that overgrowing everywhere. Eh? Look at this. What if we come around this car? Oh, look at that! We've got some more fly tipping. And why is this happening, Mr. Council? Extortion of prizes that tipped and the fact that you're not getting rid of the rubbish on time. Look at it. Look at the state. Yeah? He put a couple of little cameras up here on the right hand side. What have they done? Have they done anything? Pretty bloody obvious, they can see them. They're not going to stop a fly tip there, are they? Eh? Look at this. Oh, the skid rick again. You don't have to be going fast to skid on this. Eh? Hang on to old things, yeah? It's all over the place. Old things ain't too bad, but so. When was the last time you had a street cleaner up here? To clean them up. And the private estates aren't like this, are they? You forget about people, don't you? Eh? You forget all about this. Eh? Bloody mess. Eh? So we're going to come back round, eh? Go back round to, onto Fern Grove. These speed bumps, what use are they? Apart from the damage bloody our vehicles. No matter how slow you go over them. Yeah? Like how far? It's a mess. Destroys it, doesn't it? So come on, this is this is Fern Grove, opposite side of the motorway bridge, as we call it. Yeah, both inside. Yeah, you see all the fences falling down. It's your responsibility, this Mr. Council, to sort this crap out. Your properties, your boundaries. You should repair them. You should maintain them. Not six down hours in telling people it's their responsibility. Look at this. Look at the patchwork on this road. Eh? Patch, 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 and patch. Disgusting. When you're going to publish an actual proper schedule of maintenance and repairs. Eh? I believe Cross Lane is on a schedule for being repaired. It's an absolute shh, disgusting road. The main road as well. Oh, what? Boom, boom. There's a ball joint starting to get damaged. Yeah. Look at it, patchwork quilt. Yo, what? Yeah. Eh? Should be able to see your cameras in a minute on the lamppost. It's not stopped it, has it? Eh? No, I can't see them, it's a bit too high, aren't they? Well, you know. This is your private companies, you know, these um, tips and this, that and the other. Charging you hundreds of thousands of pounds. Yeah? Millions of pounds, to, 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 to be correct. Right. And they're overcharging people. Eighty pound minimum. Doesn't matter what you've got. Eighty pound minimum. That's the last time I went to the tip. We were sofa from my own house. Didn't have to pay for it. I could have just took me put my house that bill in. But I, I, I didn't mind. I'm going to pay for it. It's eighty pound minimum. You know what? Eighty pound. I'll just get a bloody skip. I can fill a hell of a lot more in for that. 
Eh? So let's see if we start the fern grove. Eh? This road's in a bit of a um, disarray, isn't it? Not perfect, but it ain't bad, bad. Not, not like some of them you've seen. Eh? We're not going away, Mr. Council. The revolution has started. And we're going to be coming to see you. And we're going to make your lives hell. Until you listen and do what we want doing in this, in this town. Six towns. Get rid of six town housing for a start. They're useless. They're a waste of money. Eh? So we're back onto Frost Drive. Eh? Look at the road. It's all split down the middle. Ruined. And what are you going to do? Come and put, 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 put a patch down the middle of it. That looks too disgusting. Can't even bother to cut it out and patch it. Let's turn left here to where all the shops are, eh? Look at it, look at the junction. Full of potholes. Eh? Our first street we went on to was Swallow Street by the way. Not bad this. That's not too bad either, is it really, onto Linnet Drive. You know, we'll, 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 let, we'll be fair where we, we can be fair, but you know, still. You know, the paths aren't though, are they? You know? Look at the paths. Look at it. It's falling to pieces. Eh? So we go down. See, I grew up on Dove Drive down here. You know, and it was a nice, nice little area. 20 odd 30 year ago. Let's see what have you done down here. Have you done anything down here lately? But it is a lot too bad, does it? Whoever's doing your signs all need to sort them out on your own, don't they? Now this isn't too bad either, is it? But still, the path look a mess, don't they? You know? Look at all the weeds growing out of the roads. Eh? Yeah? This is a dump that you, 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 what's it called, you expect us all to live in. You expect us to live in a town like this. You, you want to talk about, bang on about millions of pounds in regeneration? Shut up! You did the market not long ago. The high street's dead. Surely you know that. Eh? Surely you know the high street's dead. Look at it. Weed growing out everywhere. And we'll go around here around this shop bit, you know, this is where all the shops are. Look at the road. Eh? Look at the path. Eh? Yeah? Look at it. This is what we pay our council tax for, our vehicle excise duty. To deal with it, to, to deal with roads like this. Nah, no, I don't think so. Do you know what one thing new councils need to do? Stop interfering in what Mr. Jeff Little tried to do. Don't, don't try to tell him what he should and shouldn't be spending money on. Alright? He's the CEO. You've hired him to manage your services. Eh? You keep taking money away from them services because you keep interfering. Oh, Griffin Close there. Oh, people live round here. Oh, people live round here. Look at the paths. Oh, you, you, you've got care homes here. And if these old people want to come out and they want to go for a walk, 
they've got likely other bloody fit tripping and falling and hurting themselves seriously because your paths are a disgrace. The, ro the road, man. This ain't too bad, this road here on Griffin. But we're going to go down the other side in a minute. All right, because I've seen it as I come in. And it's a disgrace. Disgrace. Look at them paths, man. They've got pots all in, but all in just as much of the roads. Dangerous. Dangerous to public health. I hope the Secretary of State comes and does a financial audit like I want. Find out where you're spending our money. Find if you're suitable to be in the positions you're holding. So, go around here. Yeah, so we're on Falcon Club. Look at this. And this is an old people neighborhood. You have a care home and that down here. Look at the state of this. This is a joke. Look at it. How can you, uh, you maintain this? Look at your patchwork you'd be trying to put in it. Eh? It's an absolute mess. Disgrace. You're not fit for purpose. You know these are these old days around here. Making the gardens all nice. What's the point though really, eh? What's the point when that's what the, the, the rest of it is like? The roads, disgusting, disgusting. 20 years of not being maintained. This Labour Council, this Labour, Labour that are the people, are the party of the people. Where? Where are you the party of this people? Because this ain't no party of the people, is it? So there's the next one for you. Let's see what we're going to do about it, eh? And we'll go down here as well. Eh? Hawk close. Look at this. Look at it. It's a disgrace. Like I said, I bet it's not like this around where the people that are paying £200,000 for their houses, eh? They wouldn't stand for it, would they? Well, we're not standing for it either. Disgrace. Look at it. You rent them garages out, don't you? Look at it. Who wants to park the car around here? Not that they have much choice, do they? So. Let's crack on, Mr. Council. Being reactive. Thought you were being clever, didn't you? With your article in the Berry Times. Thought you'd get ahead of it. It's too late. It's too late. It's all over the world how, how much of incompetent people you are. I told you, we ain't going away until you sort this garbage out. The bins, the rats, the roll, the lot. Everything. No more, Mr. Council. Secretary of State hopefully coming to see you. He'll be sending his auditors the lot. Because I'm telling you, we're not giving up until you are out of power. Until you are dissolved. Goodbye. Have fun.